Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video I'm going to be doing a basic um, Raspberry Pi Python program with the uh, Sphero rover, and I'm literally going from scratch, so right now I've got my Raspberry Pi mount, and I'm sorry you can't see it. I've shown how to wire this up in another video, um, and then I've got the Raspberry Pi with a um, Ethernet cable in it, you know, Cat5, Cat6, so I'm just going to turn on rover, rover's on, and... Um, this should start launching the Pi. I'm going to open, it's called Putty. And uh, that's kind of what the logo looks like. It doesn't look exactly like that. I'm sorry, I'm, you know, this part of the screen is not visible. And I'm going to load Rover. And we'll see if it launches to the same IP address. If not, I'm going to have to, uh, I've got access to my own router. Um, and I'll just find out. Um, if, if you were doing this at home, and you don't know how to access your own router and find the IP addresses of everything there, because I haven't set this up as a static IP address yet. Um, you could plug in your Raspberry Pi to HDMI and do all that jazz, figure out how um, to find the IP address. I, I believe you go in terminal and type ifconfig. So, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing about now it's ready for me to start, so I'm going to see if it gives me a Pi login. Oh, good. All right. I was a little worried there. Okay, I'm typing around a microphone, so. Did it work? Yes. Okay. So I'm in the, the main folder here, the Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to just hit LS. I kind of know where I need to go, but I'm going to do CD for ch change directory to documents. Oh, by the way, I hit DOC tab. And I also know the next folder is Python, so PY tab, and then Sphero, blah, blah, blah. This is from um, Sphero's GitHub. And let me actually find that. So if I, um, how am I going to find that here? You know what, I'm not going to do that now. All right, so I'm in here. This is the main folder with everything in it. And we can see that there's a getting started folder Pi dependencies, projects, um, a lot of stuff in here. Actually, you know what? I don't know what's in projects, so I'm going to quick check. Okay, these are two programs that I saw on their website. Um, so I'm going to stick with getting started. I, I just want to do a simple example. And for the most part, I think we're going to be working in observer mode. If you know async I.O., I don't think you need my help. You know what I mean? So I think our tutorials are generally going to be in observer mode. Please, if you want async I.O. help, please let me know in the comments below. But generally, if, if you're ready for async I.O., you don't need me. Um, so anyway, ls, ks, um, where's my, I can't see where my fingers are. All right, so I'm going to cd into observer. And then I want to do something you'll be able to hear. So I'm going to go into driving, and I need to be careful because Rover is on my desk. Let's see, drive raw, drive with heading, with helper, with helper. I'm going to do, uh, I'm kind of interested in driving the raw. I knew I'd miss. That's not one that I have memorized well. Where is it? Drive raw. Seriously, it's not finding drive raw. dot pi no what am I I'm trying to change directory into their derp I want to go with uh, like nano drive raw so here's the program and let's see um all right how big is the viewing window gonna right about there all right um so here's the program import OS sys time um, path SDK, so we've got observer and raw motor modes enumeration or something. Um, rover is that. Def main, try rover wake, sleep for two seconds, reset yaw, raw motor. Left mode is raw mode motors forward value. And then the speed is 125. Now, in my experience, that speed is going to be way too fast. Um, okay, so they're doing multiple speeds. I am just going to do one of these. So what I'm going to do is a 
Control X, will it just exit without? Okay, that figures. I want to do a save as, and I don't use nano enough to really, what was it, Control K is to clear lines. So I'm going to ditch these other um, drives here. I think it was Control K. Yeah. All right, ditch that, ditch the other motor drive, and another motor drive. Raw motor, they've got some zeros. I want to see what happens there. Um, okay, keyboard interrupt, so that's going to be control C to do that. All right, so now when I do a control X, save modified and say yes, and then file name, I'm just going to put a two here so that uh, I'm not overwriting an actual example. Enter, and then it's probably going to ask different name. Y for yes. All right. So I've got a program in there. I'm going to edit this one more time because this is on my desk. I'm going to go down and change this 128 down to 28. 28. And then 64 is probably way too high. I'm going to try 4. I don't even know if that's going to register. Did I leave too many of these? I opened control X new. No. Alright. I opened the old file like an idiot. Here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna change this down to 28. 28. 28. And then a zero zero, so it's gonna drive at 28, whatever that even means, for one second. I'm gonna change this. I think this can take floats, right? What is my number lock off? What happened? Where's my mouse? Okay, I don't... Uh... Okay, control C to cancel. I literally hit zero with my number... What the heck? All right. Um, that is going to stink if that's always that way. I hope I didn't change a setting. Yeah, my number pad. All right. Um, so I've got the program. Um, it's going to drive for a half second at 28, whatever 28 even means. All right, the program is saved. So now I'm just going to be ready to... Actually, I'll just hold Rover. So I'm going to say Python drive raw to... Okay. Please don't yank the Ethernet cable. I need to get a, uh, a wireless Wi-Fi in this. All right, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to hit Enter. So three, two, one. Um, oh, it rolled one of the tracks. It, it rolled the right track barely. So I'm going to go back in here. And now that I know that I'm going to hold it in the air. Oh, by the way, I hit up, up, enter um, to get there. So I can just put this back to the 128. Is that going to insert? Oh, my gosh. Number pad. Um, go over here. One. Okay. And then a half second might be too little. I'll do one, oh, 0 0.1. That's better. Okay. Control X, Y, enter. Up, up. I'm going to hold Rover by hand off the desk, hit enter, yep. okay, so it worked. There's quite a bit of delay there. I don't know, um, let's see, so Rover Wake, is that what really takes that long? There's a two second sleep. Is it really taking that long? So what I'm going to do, so if name is main, and then it's going to run main. So I'm just going to go into main, print, I think I'm in Python 3, right? About to wake up. And now let's see when it prints this. Um, and just get an idea of how long it takes to actually start the Python code. 
Like, is it the uh, the robot that's slow? I don't know what's going on. So, sorry, this is going longer than I thought. All right, so I'm going to hit Enter. And we're still waiting for it to print. Still no print. There it is. Okay, so most of that waiting is waiting for the, the Python code to actually execute. I don't think there was really anything happening before my print. We've got rover equals Sphero observer here. Um, maybe that's the problem. Let's uh, Maybe that takes a long time. So I'm going to go here, print ASDF, and uh, control X, Y, and enter. And I hit the shift key. I'm, I'm like reaching around a giant microphone. Okay, so I hit enter there. Wow, no, it's it's just getting this to go. Yeah, the rover. Okay, so we've we've got um, a program running. I, I'm sorry I didn't have uh, all of what I did to get this started. I hope to go back and do that. Um, I just wanted to show that we can run programs. Um, we can write them. We can edit them. We can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, so basically, I'm I'm SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi, so it's literally SSH, like Sierra, Sierra, Hotel, SSH. Um, what you want to download is Putty. Um, if you're on Windows, it's P-U-T-T-Y, like Silly Putty, just the word Putty. Um, that is what you're going to want to use to um, SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Whatever computer you're using to access the Pi with, they and the Raspberry Pi, they both need to be on the same Wi-Fi, okay? Um, and so for me, that's easy at home. I can, I've literally got a cat five wire going across the house. Um, and so, yeah, you use this, um, and you also need to get the code into here. And so, um, one of the things that you could do is, is like download the zip and unzip all that into your Raspberry Pi. What I did is went into, uh, somewhere around here. Um, I went one further up. So I was in here and I said git clone and then whatever it was. Um, I, I copied it from the main GitHub of Sphero. I wonder if, uh, so I'll tell you what, I can just, okay, so this is the actual Sphero um, Raspberry Pi um, SDK here in their GitHub. And what you basically do, uh, clone or download, and then you're just going to copy this. And um, you're basically going to say git clone, um, git space clone space, and then paste that in, and it will basically bring it all in. Now, just be careful. Um, I I think there are still some issues. When was their last commit? Yeah, I think there's still going to be issues with um, because your Raspberry Pi might not have 3.5, it might have 3.7. That was my problem, so I had to change this, and I think I might have had to change pip to pip3 um, for all these. I may have also had a problem with this guy and um, Pi Serial, async IO. I, I had to fiddle around a little. If you get an error, Google it, look for a Stack Overflow um, option, and look for something where they got like a green check mark and a bunch of upvotes and you probably found yourself a solution to whatever the problem is. Um, anyway, I didn't want this video to go 15 minutes, so we, we got some programs. Um, well, we got a program working. Um, sorry that you can't see the rover. I don't want to sync audio and get my camera out and do all the stuff. I don't have much time when my son takes a nap. But um, yeah, we, we got a program going. I showed you a little bit how to edit it in um, a Raspberry Pi. I like Nano. Um, there are other options as well. And then to actually run, you're basically opening the same Python file, you know, the drive raw motors.py. You're opening it either with like Python or with Nano. Um, you're opening the same file, so you can edit the file or you can execute the file with Python. Um, there is some sort of delay between executing the Python code and Rover actually, uh, the, the code happening. Um, it could be just the Raspberry Pi is kind of slow. It does not seem to be a Rover issue yet to me, but I'm not an expert there. Anyway, this is Keith from Kinvert. I hope you found this helpful. This will probably go on our online course that we're starting to build for the Sphero Rover. 
Um, if you want to know more about that, head to, uh, I'll have a link in the description for that. Um, and it, it might not go directly there. It'll just go to my website. And if I have information, I'll put it there. You might find it. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.